Hello, I'm John and I'm a field sales engineer with Omron. Welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. During this video we'll show how to use CX Compilet to transfer large amounts of data from a PLC to a PC application without the need for additional PLC code. This application uses Ethernet IP where we have two options available, explicit messaging and tag data links. In this video we'll cover explicit message communication and the next video will cover the tag data links. In this application we use Sysmac Studio, Sysmac Gateway, CX Compilet, Visual Studio and in the next video we'll use Network Configurator. I developed a small simple PLC application here where we have some network variables, an array of 400 double integers out to the PC, similar size from the PLC, and a single double integer monitor value. In Visual Studio, we have, well, I have already installed CX Compilet, so I have these uh, .NET framework components here, but in order to add these to Microsoft Visual Studio, you can right click and choose items. And this populates the .NET framework components from your computer. And if we filter by typing in Omron, we see the Compilate uh, .NET framework components that I've already installed here. We'll use the NX Compilate for explicit messaging in this video. In the next video, we'll look at variable complex. Okay, so I've already brought on um, an NX complex object by dragging and dropping from the, the menu here. And with this device, we have properties associated with it. We'll have to put in an IP address, the IP address of the PLC, so 192.168.251.1. Hit enter, and if we make the active uh, parameter true by double clicking, it it connects. Is connection goes to true, and it picks up on the name of the uh, the PLC. This is achieved because we have Sysmac Gateway running on the computer. So Sysmac Gateway is using Ethernet IP to connect between the PLC and the PC. This is my card on the my network card on the laptop node number 12 I have it set to start automatically at startup the port is open and we're communicating we can test with this little utility here um, by putting in again the IP of the PLC send the message and it picks up that it's an NX 102 Okay, so um, we'll go to uh, we'll go to add some other components onto this page, some other objects, a button, button object, and a text box, text box. Okay, so the button we'll give the button the name. Etn get data. And some text on the button. Let's get PLC data. Okay, so double click on that, go to forms.cs, and we have this private void button get data click event. So this code will run when we click the button. So we need an object. PLC data. And the reason we create an object is PLC data will hold the return value from NX compilet dot read variable. And this is looking for a string, a variable name. So 
you go and monitor monitor value monitor value and semicolon and we want to display that somewhere so text box text box one dot text is equal to PLC data and that'll be an integer so we need to convert that to string so dot to string and that all looks good so if we go and start that rub that run that application Open a different screen. So get PLC data is equal to zero. Let's go over to the PLC program and monitor, and it's it's in it's equal to zero. Change the value to 500. Let's go back and re-trigger that button, and we get a value of 500. Okay, so that works fine, but in practice we need some we need more than one one data. We need to bring in an array. So let's go back and uh, create an array, int64, an array, plc data equals to new, int64, size of 400, because we know the size, and then uh, PLC data is equal to nx compilect dot read variable and out to PC it should be in commas and semicolon so the red squiggly lines is because it doesn't like something so it can't implicitly convert type object okay so if we convert that to an array of integers 64 an array it, it's okay with that okay now we need somewhere to uh, to put the data so we go to forms design and bring in uh, bring in a, a list box. Here it is, list box. Go back to the code um, and say for each uh, tab twice gives us what the for each function is looking for. And um, we know here we need integers. So for each integer item in the collection, and in our case, the collection is the PLC data, PLC data, and the item, we give it a meaningful name, would be PLC array element. Okay, and so this will loop around for the number of integers that are found in the PLC data. So for every loop, we'll go list, list box, one dot items dot add and we want to add the PLC array element semicolon so that all looks good um, let's run that see how we get on Okay, so just before we, we trigger that button, let's go back and uh, put some values into the array. So um, PLC is running. We go, I have some code here. So this is a for an X loop. So if we run this, it will iterate around uh, placing the value of I into each element in the array. So we'll have zero to 399. Let's go back to the application trigger and here we have 0 to 399 
Okay, so in the next video we look at the uh, we look at the tag data links where we can use um, a change event in event memory on the PC to trigger a read of data from the PLC. So rather than continuously polling the PLC, we'll just monitor for a change in a particular uh, tag. That's it for now. Have a nice day.